Hello everyone, welcome to the video. So just before we start, I want to say this is a spoiler free review. I won't be showing any bosses or anything like that in the video. So don't worry about that. If you do want to see the full game, I will be streaming the full release on this channel today for the majority of the day actually and probably into the night. So for the past few days, I've been playing this brand new Souls like game, Lords of the Fallen. I was lucky enough to be given early access. So thank you CI Games for that. And being the Souls-like veteran that I am, I've had my eye on this game for a while now and I've been super excited for it. So you may or may not know me, but the, the majority of my time doing videos on this channel, it's mainly been For Honor focused. That's been my main game. But I did actually start this channel on Dark Souls 3 and I also covered Elden Ring for a good solid couple of months when that was released, doing lots of build videos and PvP stuff. So I'm not new to these kind of games. I've played a hell of a lot of them. So with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm going to say what everyone wants to know and the reason why you are here. This is the best Souls-like game I've ever played outside of a From Software game. No, this is not a sponsored video. This isn't an ad. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not obliged to say anything other than what I truly feel. Lords of the Fallen, it truly is a breath of fresh air. The art direction, the visuals are just absolutely stunning. The monsters are hideous and scary. The fights are intense, especially the boss fights as well. And all the music that comes with it, you know, it's just absolutely spot on. And this game just gives you plenty of those goosebump moments that you will remember for the rest of your gaming days. So if you are a fan of this genre and Souls-like games, you will be seriously missing out if you don't play this. And that's my that's just my honest opinion. I've played Mortal Shell, Lies of P. I've played plenty of these games in the last couple of years, which are all fantastic, by the way. But this one takes the number one spot for me because of everything that I've mentioned, but it also brings something new. This isn't just a another dark fantasy RPG. This brings something completely unique and new to the table. Two expansive parallel worlds that you can explore. Axiom, the world of the living, and Umbral, the realm of the dead. Both in which offer their own brutal challenges and secrets. So there's a lot of exploration to be had. So there is nine starter classes with four secret ones. I'm not going to go into the details of that. And there's tons of customization options. I know you guys love that stuff. I do too. We all, we all love that stuff, man. And Lords of the Fallen definitely does not fall short in that category. So I want to show you this picture as well. This game's been in development for four years and the studio is fully remote with 90 internal developers and 400 plus total. There's 13 player classes with four of them secret. Again, spoiler free, so I'm not going to say anything about those. A huge amount of weapon and shields, spells and catalysts, lots of armor pieces and three unique endings which offers a lot of replayability and there's 30 bosses as well that is a lot of content and you're definitely going to get more than your money's worth once you've completed your first playthrough of this game chances are that you'll feel like you haven't even scratched the surface you're gonna just want to get straight back in there and do it again i can guarantee you that so this game also has seamless co-op so what that means is you can play with a friend from the start all the way to the finish without having to resummon after every boss like you used to so that just makes the experience a whole lot better as well so there is a lot of fun to be had and there is a lot to do this honestly i think this studio has made a masterpiece in my opinion it's going to be hard to top this for a while i will mention as well that like during this whole early access phase where all these creators have been play testing it giving feedback and suggestions and all that stuff like let me tell you man these these devs are on the absolute ball man like the speed of the updates and the patches and the fixes and everything else that they've done i've got to say that i am actually seriously impressed it is definitely something that i'm not used to like especially like elden ring for example who's waiting so long for like some patches but i just know for a fact from what i've already seen this studio is going to be on the ball with any issues, if there are any. So I really do think that we're in good hands. So honestly, if if none of these reviews make you hyped for the game, uh, go and watch the official release trailer. Because honestly, if that doesn't get you hyped, nothing will. It's seriously got to be one of the best, most hyped trailers I've ever seen. It had absolutely no business slapping that hard. So that's my honest opinion on the game. Like I said, you know, no spoilers or anything. I, will, I could go much more in depth, but I just don't want to spoil anything for you guys so long story short this game is fantastic 
a breath of fresh air. You're going to miss out if you don't play it. And if you're still not sure and you want to watch some actual gameplay, like I said, I'm going to be covering the full game on my channel. Come by the videos and the live streams and, you know, say hello. I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions as well. So leave a comment below. I read all of my comments here on this channel. And I would love to hear what you guys think of this and what you think of the game and what you've already seen from other channels. I hope that if you've pre-ordered the game that you'll enjoy it. I'm pretty confident that you will. This, these last like few months have been absolutely stacked with games, man. I mean, I've got games that I've not even played yet. I've not even got around to playing Assassin's Creed Mirage yet. You know, this, this game has kind of just taken all of my attention recently. And there's a reason for that. There is a reason for that. And you're going to see it for yourself. I hope I helped in any of your decisions to get the game or not. Let me know in the comments below anyway. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Enjoy all of the videos and the streams, all the amazing creators that are currently playing this game right now as we speak. It's honestly such a good time to be a gamer right now. There's just so many cool games, but this, this one, man, this one's special. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.